Now let's talk about AI. When we look at AI, you folks have been leveraging AI for a long time, but now we have started talking about generative AI, Gen AI, chat GPT is a big uh, buzzword these days. Talk a bit about how do you folks leverage AI and not just, you know, the it's funny to use the word legacy or traditional AI, but also, you know, a generative AI as well. I really do appreciate the fact that when I got to Transposit, we had an AI strategy already. And so what I like is that when others were announcing, I don't know, we have AI capability, we already had it. And so there, we've, we've done a couple of things. Uh, throughout the incident process, if you are running an incident in Transposit, you know, we're friendly with Slack, we're friendly with Transposit UI. So it doesn't matter where the communication is taking place. One of the things I truly appreciate about, appreciate about Transposit is as you're going through that incident, and as you're having those conversations, you're not having to dictate to a scribe or take time from the resolution process to scribe. We actually have an AI teammate that is listening, watching that conversation and providing that context. We even prompt uh, for you say, Man, look, this appears to be an update to this incident. Something has changed. Would you like to change that? We provide that functionality out of the box. And then at the end of the incident, <laughs> what we hear is a lot of people like to run a postmortem. You'll never hear me say postmortem, that's what our customers say. I call it a post-incident review. I do that because there's a lot of learnings to be had there. I cannot tell you the number of times I've seen someone go through that timeline and pull the important pieces out. It's error prone. It's can easily misunderstood as to what action was taken by who back at, at what time. And so I think the, the benefit of our AI is that summarization includes key events that took place during that incident. This person did this. This person mentioned this. This decision was made by the group. And we're doing that throughout the entire incident life cycle. And so by the time you finish your incident, we're going to give you a pretty good head start on your post-incident review. I think that's that's a big one. Uh, but we're not going to stop there. I mean, like now that it's out there and now that we see a lot of this, ideally, what good is 100 integrations if I cannot suggest that you use one? Uh if you're taking this action every time you have an incident, we want to enable you to say, do you want to do this from now on? Do you want to make this part of your incident response process? So getting away just from, not just from the summarization aspect, we want to be a suggestion recommendation engine. And that is huge. Like being a, a recommendation engine or a suggestion engine based on someone's ongoing conversation and the tools that they're already using is a superpower. And one that we're uniquely designed to solve for. 